Hi guys! So, as you may be able to guess, today I have a makeup video for you about this look. It was inspired by my antlers here. Um, I made this headband myself. Um, it is real deer antlers from a five point. I believe um, we just have a box of antlers sitting around my house um, that my dad has. And uh, I believe that some of them are his uh, from when he used to go hunting and some of them were also given to us. Uh, so we had quite a few pairs, so I picked out a pair that I liked and I made myself a little headband with them. Uh, they're pretty heavy, um, but they do stay on once I get them wrapped into my hair. Um, I'm wearing my hair extensions today because I thought it looked really cool with this look and I feel like a forest fairy for realsies. I feel so pretty and amazing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do something a little over the top to celebrate World Goth Day, really get my creativity flowing. Obviously this isn't like the gothest thing ever, but it was really really fun to do and I haven't done anything this extreme in a really long time. So I was really excited to do it, it was a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you enjoy because I really really like it. So if you want to see how I made this happen, keep on watching. Okay, so obviously my base is already done. I have blocked out my eyebrows and done just a really nice pale foundation. It's just my everyday foundation. And now I'm gonna get started on my eyes. I'm going to use these same tones to contour my face as well and to bring a dark shade around my forehead going up into the hairline. Now I'm going to take a white eyeliner into my waterline to really open up my eyes even more. I'm also going to use this to give myself some little freckles kind of like what deer have. Now with a black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to do a winged eyeliner but taking down the inner corner and keeping the outer corner thick here but no wing or anything on that. Don't be like me kids. Don't be stupid.
Okay, so don't be afraid to be messy with this stuff. I obviously didn't do the cleanest job, but I'm gonna clean it up with eyeshadow and um, a stick pencil too. So with a liquid, just getting a basic shape down, some really sketchy inner eye corner stuff, and I'm also going to do some dots along these as well. Alright, so taking a nice sharp black pencil liner, I'm going to do a nice kind of smoky outline of the white and really fix these horrific little things that I did on my inner corners. Um, should have a lot more control with this one, so I don't think it'll be too bad. I'm also going to draw in some really little eyebrows just at the front here. Okay, I lied. I like them a little bit longer like this. And I'm going to fill in those with a little bit of brown as well to tie them into the rest. Now I'm going to take some black um, just around the edge of my forehead to tie my forehead shading into my hairline a little bit better. Now I'm taking Snazzer's water-based body paint and I'm going to really enhance some of these little speckles here. I'm going to add some up here and a little bit on my chin, kind of where you would normally highlight. So for the lips, I'm doing the top lip in black gel eyeliner and the bottom lip in this really nice kind of brown toned matte lipstick from NYX. All right, so for makeup, that is the finished look. Now I'm going to do my hair up a bit for the pictures so that you can see how everything comes together. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me move my camera for you so I can show you everything, including my awesome horns.
So thanks for watching guys. I hope you really liked that. Like I said, it was so much fun to do. I definitely want to do some more crazy stuff like this in the future. It's just a blast. And uh, yeah, so do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me all kinds of messages or suggestions uh, if you want to see something else that's kind of weird or crazy in the future. I would love to do something based on like a suggestion. So leave me a comment, let me know what you like, what you want to see. Uh, I hope you celebrate World Goth Day. Even if you're not goth, just do something a little extra spooky for yourself. It's super fun and who doesn't want to celebrate the second spookiest day of the year? Sorry, Halloween is definitely the first no matter what. So <laughs> anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend.